Hi everyone. Um, a big part of epilepsy and something that they will tell you to try to avoid is stress. Well then, now as you notice, part of being a human being is stress. Just because there are a million things that there are to be done. And it's all about handling said stress. And, sorry, I need to plug in. And trying to find a way to be constructive about it. So, um, I will get back to you, but a few of my basic stress technique, stress renewal techniques read a good book. I will recommend a book down in the description when I'm done. It's going to be another favorite of mine that I go to during times when I'm just looking for something. Sometimes you just want to uh, block out the rest of the world a little bit, um, or if you're me, you find reading entertaining. So, uh, a good book. Music. Oh, yes. <laughs> um, going and putting in some, putting in a little bit of a dance and a workout can definitely get it off of your body and out of your mind and uh, sometimes something to hold on to. As you will notice, this is not my usual coffee mug. Uh, I should <laughs> I should sell big coffee mugs as merch. And maybe I'll do that when I start getting more subscribers. Um, I don't know what my icon would be, but we shall see. Um, so listening to music, reading a good book, listening to a song that you like, dancing to it. By the way, if you are doing car dancing, it is imperative, not just important, to enjoy yourself. And also I think that you're meant to look a bit like a dork when you're car dancing. Otherwise, are you really car dancing? So it's okay to kind of move around to say, hope down a feeling. And just remember that judgmental looks from other drivers and or passengers should not be taken as insults. In fact, you should just pull up, politely smile and wave hello and just go do your thing because they're missing out on something really, really awesome, which is just letting yourself be free. And um, this is advice from me. Uh, stay away from anything that could go wrong. Like, I wouldn't suggest plucking your eyebrows or trying new hairstyles right away because <laughs> um, may I suggest cooking, finding something easy, something that makes your little heart happy. We're not going to discuss whether or not it fits into your five a day, which I think is slightly off, but I'll get back to you on that. I think it's in the next chapter of the book I have to read for school. Um, and by the way, the food pyramid is bunk. But um, it, I suppose it's a good st as good of a start as any, but bunk nonetheless. Go see a friend, uh, text a friend, call a friend, whatever you need to do. I'm giving you suggestions that I would use as opposed to, well, I'm trying this now, but these are the things that help me. Uh, remember the good things. 
oh, you know, everything's terrible, blah, 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 blah. I've had a long day. There's a new thing in my life that is scaring the heebie-jeebies out of me. And okay, it's okay to have the heebie-jeebies scared out of you. Uh, remember that you all, you have a 100% success rate at getting through. So, you know, keep it up, yo. And remember to give yourself, actually tell yourself that you're okay. That you don't need to be, and don't get down on yourself and call yourself terrible names. Um, and being nervous is part of life and it's okay to need a little bit of help. So anyway, you're loved. Know that you're loved, be loved, and uh, catch you on the flip side.